Hello everyone, my name is James Pruitt. Uh, this is uh, the twelfth lecture on generating functions. And uh, let's look at our database. We have two main functions, we two important functions. We, we've computed the multiplicative inverse for. So it's 1 over 1 minus Cx, which is equal to uh, 1 plus Cx plus C squared x squared plus dot 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 uh, plus C to the n x to the n plus dot 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 and then we had this 1 over uh, where C is just some arbitrary complex number. Then we did this last time. We computed the multiplicative inverse of 1 minus x squared last time and that turned out to be 1 plus 2x plus 3x squared plus dot 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 uh, plus n plus 1 uh, x to the n plus dot dot dot. Uh, now we want to do a recurrence. This is going to be all, only our second recurrence. Hopefully I can pick up the pace with recurrences. We, we're getting some of the basic stuff out of the way. We can really uh, run with the recurrences. So so uh, this recurrence uh, relation is a n equals to 2 a n minus 1 plus uh, n minus 1 uh, for n greater than 1 and we're going to greater than 0 excuse me n greater than 0 and we're going to let uh, a 0 equal to uh, 1 so we first first things first we let a be the generating function that satisfies um, um, let a be the generating function that satisfies this recurrence relation let's go back first let's uh, restate what the objective is. We have this recurrence relation. It's a relation between complex numbers. And so we want to transform this uh, this equation into an equation involving sequences, an algebraic equation involving sequences. That way we can use algebra to solve for the unknown sequence. That, And once we solve for that unknown sequence, uh, that sequence will be the solution to this uh, this recurrence relation that involves just complex numbers. So we set off by, we, we, we let A be the generating function, capital A, the generating function of the A sub n that satisfies this recurrence relation. So A is equal to A naught plus A1x plus a two x squared plus dot dot dot, and then we can we we can rewrite a because we know that a satisfies this recurrence relation. We can rewrite a by plugging in what we know. So we say a naught is one plus a one. We plug in one here, so it's two times a zero, two times a zero uh, plus one minus one is zero plus a zero times x plus then we go to 2. A2 is 2 minus 1 is A1. 2 minus 1 is 1. So it's 2A1 uh, plus 1 uh, x squared. Then we go to 2A2 plus 2 x cubed plus dot dot dot. Now we have to uh, now we just uh, try to figure out what we can add together to get A. So we're going to try to get something on the right-hand side that sums up to A. So we're just going to start messing around here uh, by making some educated guesses. So we're going to look at 2x times A, and that's going to be equal to, um, we'll, we'll multiply by this one up here. Uh, so we're going to get uh, 2A naught X, it's 2X times A naught plus 2x times a1x is going to be 2a1x uh, squared plus 2a2x cubed plus dot dot dot. And then we're going to look at another piece um, to, to deal with this n minus 1. Uh, we, we, got, we know what n plus 1. We know that 1 over um, 1 minus x squared is n plus 1. So that's going to equal to n plus 1 is 1 plus uh, 1 plus 1 is 2x plus uh, 2 plus 1 is 3x squared plus 4x cubed plus dot dot dot. Now 
it, when we, we want something that's 2a naught plus 0, so we want the coefficient of x to be um, 0, and we want the coefficient of x squared to be 1, and the coefficient of x cubed to be 2. So we got this 1 here, and we want this 1 to be the coefficient of x squared. We want this 2 to be the coefficient of of x cubed. So if we multiply this by x squared, we're going to get 1 times x squared plus 2 times uh, x uh, cubed plus 3 times x to the fourth uh, plus uh, 4 times uh, x to the fifth plus dot dot dot. So now we have, I think, um, if we look at this for a while, we have a 2a knot right here, and that's going to get that 2a knot. We've got a 2a1 for the, in front of the x squared, and that's going to give that 2a1. And then we got this 1 here, and that's going to be provided by this guy right here. And then we got this uh, 2a2. And that's this guy right here. And then we have this 2 in front of the x cubed. And that's a 2 right there. The, the only thing we're missing is this 1. Uh, so we can go ahead and say what a is equal to. So a is equal to uh, 2xa plus x squared over 1 minus x uh, squared plus 1. So now... Uh, we want to get our unknowns. A is unknown. A is the sequence we're trying to solve for. It's the sequence that satisfies the above relation up here. Let's see, we're way up there now. It satisfies this relation right here. So uh, when, and we're going to do this algebraically. So the thing that this 2x is not unknown. This is not unknown. These are all knowns. These are like numbers to us. Uh, we're dealing with uh, in, a, in our ring of, uh, of sequences. So we're going to bring this over. We're going to get 1 minus 2xa is equal to. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get a common denominator and add this, these things up. 1 minus x squared, x squared plus 1 minus x uh, squared. And what, where are we sitting on time? Okay. So we got a times 1 minus 2x is equal to uh, x squared uh, plus 1 minus 2x uh, plus x squared over uh, 1 minus x squared. And then we're going to get a is equal to uh, 1 minus 2x plus 2x squared over uh, 1 minus x squared times 1 minus 2x. Okay. So there we go. We've solved for a. But uh, we want to go ahead and figure out what the multiplicative inverses are. Uh, uh, actually, that's not right. We, wanna, we want to do our partial fa fraction expansion and get it to... Uh, some denominators that we know how to deal with. This denominator, we haven't calculated the multiplicative inverse of 1 minus x squared times 1 minus 2x. We don't know how to do that. Um, uh, we haven't figured that out yet. So what we want to do is do a partial fraction expansion. And uh, let's see where I got on my notes. Okay, so the way we're going to do that, we're going to uh, uh, do the heavy side cover up method, and that is let's see what we're sitting on time. Okay, so we're going to we're going to represent that as um, we're going to say a over. Uh, this is a we didn't do one that has a repeated root, so we have this repeated root. So this is the standard way to do that. Uh, plus b over one minus x plus uh, c over 
1 minus 2x and that's equal to uh, 1 minus 2x plus 2x squared over uh, 1 minus x squared uh, 1 minus 2 uh, x. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to get uh, solve for a. So we multiply by, uh, we multiply both sides of the equation by one minus x squared. So that's going to give a one minus x squared, and this, and you're going to cancel one of those terms out. So you're going to end up with b times one minus x, and then you're going to get c times one minus x squared, and then the one minus x squareds cancel out here. So when I put in a uh, uh, 1, so let x equal to 1, this is 0, this is 0, and we're going to get 1 minus 2 plus 2 over 1 minus 2. So it's 1 minus 2 plus 2, so it's 1, over 1 minus 2, which is negative 1. So it's going to, a is equal to negative 1 by the heavy side cover-up method. And then we're going to go, we can't really do anything with this uh, we can't do that with this this term so we're going to just go ahead and skip to C C is equal we'll multiply both sides by um, 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 1 minus 2x so uh, we do the same thing so we're going to get C is equal to 1 minus 2x going to cancel out and we have to substitute x 1 half so we get 1 minus 1 minus 2 times 1 half plus 2 times 1 half squared is 1 fourth over um, 1 minus 1 half is 1 half squared and that's 1 fourth okay I'll go ahead and write that squared so that's going to be uh, uh, 1 minus 2 that's 1 minus 1 so that's going to cancel out that cancels out with that uh, 2 fourths that's going to be 1 half over 1 fourth and that's going to flip that 4 up there that's going to equal to 2 okay now we got two of the roots now we can pick up we can substitute for x anything we want so I'm going to pick the easiest thing that I know and that's going to be 0 I'm going to let x equal to 0 and substitute and see what I got we can't pick something that's going to be uh, cause the denominator to be 0 but but zero is not a root of this any of the denominators. So we got a uh, one minus zero is one squared is one, which actually we already know what a is. So so we're gonna say so a is uh, negative one. So we got let me get my pen back. So we got negative one uh, plus b. I don't know what b is. One minus zero is one plus c. Um, c is uh, two over 1 so that's going to be plus 2 is equal to and I'm putting in 0 so I got a 1 here and a 1 here that's a 0 and the 1 here so that's equal to 1 so B is equal to uh, uh, 1 plus 1 minus 2 which is equal to 0 so B is 0 so that's that's good so we got let's see if I can write this down on my thing so I got negative negative 1 over 1 minus x squared I hope I am not off the screen here let me come up just a little bit uh, uh, let's see 2 plus 2 over 1 minus 2x is equal to a okay there we go so now I got uh, I know what this I know what this guy is and I know what this guy is so now I'm ready to go ahead and solve we're good to go now uh, let me flip my notes over okay let me see what my time is I'm running out of time so I got uh, this is negative I'm just going to write this down. This is negative. Um, actually, I'm running out of time. I'm just going to jump to the conclusion. We'll finish this up. So uh, the sequence is a sub n, where a uh, n is equal to this term right here. Is th this term is uh, this term? This term right here is two times two to the n, and this term right here is minus n plus one. Okay, uh, talk to you later.